These are very fateful times we are in now. You've got one week left, America, to cast your vote and decide the future of your country as well as the future of the world. I mean, America as one of the central, uh, you know, power places in the world, which has a ties to a lot of uh, other countries, you know, it's not just, you know, your country that your decision will be affecting. It is also the future of our planet. All right. I see a lot of things going on, um, which are really disturbing regards how people vote in America. They don't seem to really, you know, care so much about finding the right kind of qualities uh, the right kind of aptitudes and abilities that one would uh, expect and want in a president, in someone who's going to run your country. Um, it doesn't really seem like wisdom, you know, is really that valuable. Finding someone who's wise, uh, moderate, well-tempered, a good temperament, not over the top, not too extreme. You know, these things don't really matter considering that a lot of people seem to be you know, rooting for Donald Trump at the moment, and I know both of them, they're pretty fucked up candidates, and really you're choosing the lesser of two evils, that's what you want to do, because either way, whoever's, you know, given to you, you had Bernie Sanders, but you fucked that up, so now you've only got two evils, and you got to pick the, the less evil, um, so at least, you know, if, if, if wisdom doesn't matter to you, if aptitude and ability, the actual ability to run a country, I mean, who are these people, who is Donald Trump? You know, a guy that was born into riches, uh, who's running for presidency just because he's a millionaire, just because he's got a billionaire, just because he's got lots of money. Um, you know, and it's interesting that all it requires to become president is a lot of money. You know, and generally all these people that become your president, they're from the oil industry generally. And it's funny that the people who are responsible for polluting the world end up being chosen to be, you know, appropriate for the position of running a country, on choosing the future, the welfare, you know, supporting the welfare of its people, um, you know, controlling legislation to to an ex to a degree, making uh, huge decisions in terms of yay or nay to invasions, you know, big shit like this, all the big calls, and they're not small people. It comes down to your president. So why do we just look for businessmen and why do we vote um, for somebody just because they're loud mouthed, just because they seem like the alpha jock, like the jock in the locker room, just because, you know, they have the better burn phrases because they can stick it to the opponent better. It seems that it's like watching professional wrestling, you know, it's like a Americans are watching this show and they're watching these two opponents versing each other. And even though backstage, you know, they're probably friends and they all have the same agenda roughly anyway, um, and they're just helping each other out, you know, um, people play along. People like to just play along to the fantasy, the illusion, and they submit their critical thinking. They leave it at the door and they just enter that arena and they watch and they, they, they just like to believe that, you know, it's real and it's not about voting for the best person for the job. It's about voting for the most popular uh, the loudest, most offensive, you know what I mean? Like, it seems they say there's no, any exposure, there's no, no such thing as bad publicity, even that seems to be true for, for presidents, you know, people saying like they're the like Trump because he's charismatic, you know, and he calls things how he sees it, and he has all these great statements like, we'll make America great again, one, when did it stop being great? Two, when was it ever great? Three, how was he going to make it great? He hasn't actually explained anything in terms of procedures and, and actions he, he intends to take on any any kind of scale, let alone elaborate. He hasn't explained what he's going to do. All he's saying, here's a problem, here's a problem, here's his people I hate, here's his people I hate, here's another sexist remark, here's another racist remark, let's go to war, let's kill these people. You know, and then, and, but there's no actual, instead of, you know, he's calling out these problems, but he's not actually providing any solutions whatsoever. And people think, oh, that's okay. You know, we'll vote for this guy because just like in wrestling, you know, we know he's probably not really meaning those words that he's saying in that ring. You know what I mean? He's just saying it because it's part of the show, but I like him because he's more entertaining. 
So I'm going to give him my vote and give him the power to assume that role. But you've got to understand and wake up, people. This isn't professional wrestling, even though the, the realm of politics and professional wrestling, WWE, is very similar. Because it's all a facade, it's all a show, everyone knows it's a fucking rigged, everyone knows it's a fucking game, but they just like to go along with it, and you vote for the popular choice, the most controversial, most exciting, you know, charismatic, you know, you're not choosing to vote for celebrity of the year, you're not choosing to to vote someone in who's going to have their own TV show and you want to see more of them. You want to see more of their charismaticism, or if that's even a word. And you want to see more of them giving shit to people and more of them making bold statements. No, you're voting in someone who's going to direct the future of your country, the future of you, the future of your children, the future of your children. All right? And I think it's really selfish, people saying, well... I like how Trump, you know, he's making good decisions for business and it's going to help me and benefit me with my business. I think that's really selfish to just selectively look at the positive, the possible positives in terms of the business aspect when in terms of actually keeping everything in balance, keeping the country from going to war, minimizing pollution, Helping provide more affordable housing and health care and food. The things that really matter. These things don't even really matter to you people that much it seems. Because you're going to give Trump the vote just because he's more fun. Because he's charismatic. Because he benefits you with your business. Even if it means more pollution, more warfare, more turmoil for the whole country, for the world, for your children. For their children. For the future. You're kissing away your future. You're pissing on it. And you're shitting on it. And he says it's going to be great again. He's going to make America great again. They're just words. And if you haven't learned by now. That every single president that has come. Has talked a big talk. But they have failed to walk that walk. Then you you don't even know what's coming. Because seriously, this guy can't even talk the talk. He can't even plan and tell you what he intends to do. But just because he's charismatic and you think it's a pop culture television program, you're just going to vote for him anyway. And he can't even talk the talk. So how the fuck do you expect him to walk the walk? This guy does not have the values. Hillary Clinton's a monster, but not as big a monster as him. And if you vote him in... Even if it benefits you in one respect and for business or whatever, you are responsible. And you can look your children in the eyes and you can say, I'm choosing this for you. For better or worse. And it's probably going to be for worse. And that's on you. So my advice, don't be selfish people. Don't buy into the hype. Don't buy into who's got the biggest zinger statements. Who can talk shit better. Who's got the best charismatic comebacks, the best slogans, the best advertising? Actually look into, okay, what kind of values do these people have? What have they actually told us to intend to do for our country? You're voting for the president. You're voting for someone to make executive decisions, which means decisions which will lead to certain things being executed. So doesn't that matter? What kind of decisions are going to be executed? And what kind of impact that's going to have on you? It might benefit in business, but what if you end up paying more for healthcare or losing your healthcare? What if your country falls into martial law? Because they've got some tyrant who likes to throw his weight around with an ego the size of a planet who doesn't actually give a fuck, not only about women, but about men either. He doesn't give a fuck about you. He doesn't care for people. He's a fucking billionaire. He's just money with legs. And he's only there for more power, more control, more glory, more status, more fucking ego fucking power tripping. And you people are buying right into it. So you know what? Actually, yeah, vote for Donald Trump. Vote for Donald Trump to spite me. Vote for Donald Trump to spite you. Vote for Donald Trump to spite your family. Despite your future, despite all that is good in the world, vote for Donald Trump. 
Because if you're really that fucking stupid and brainless to do that, just because of bullshit reasons, then you deserve what will be coming to you. And I swear, you will know what's coming to you even now if you just open your eyes, do a bit of research, open-mindedly, objectively, actually looking at what's in front of you instead of getting lost in the sports mentality of us versus them. And I just want to root for my guy, root for my team, and boo your team. And I I chose him to begin with, so I'm going to stick with my team. I'm going to stick with it to the end. Even if he ends up kicking the goal, winning the game, which in actual fact means losing the game. Destroying the game. Don't get lost in that mentality. It's not about us and them. It's not a game show. It's not a competition. It's not a wrestling match. It's your future. Your future. Not the business of your, the future of your business, but the future of your life. And all of those lives that you may care about or may not. If you do this, even if Trump ends up being able to walk the walk, uh, sorry, walk the talk um, that he isn't even doing, that he isn't really talking, even if he magically ends up being not so disastrous in that position. Politically speaking, in the political sphere, with all the presidents around the world, all the people of power, trust me, they're going to be a lot more amicable with Hillary than they're going to be with Trump. So they're going to be making their decisions, executive decisions, based on who you have voted in for president. And if you think he's just going to be reasonable and negotiable when it comes to push and shove with other countries, you know, he's not going to. He's too much of a jock-headed, block-headed jock and an egotist and a power tripper to be amicable, to be reasonable. He's going to be about us and them. And uh, we'll threaten you with fucking violence. And you just got to accept it because we're, we're going to be great again regardless. You know, we're not compromising for, for no one. That's going to lead to war. Doesn't matter about what's good for business. When nothing is good for business because you're out of business. Because you voted your country down the drain. Seriously. Put your vote anywhere else if you're watching wrestling, sports, competitions. But you're voting for your future. You're voting for your next president. So get real. Get real. This is real. It's not just like, ah, oh, we won, my guy won. No. If you vote him in, everybody loses. Fuck, I'm not even in America, and I am more passionate about this than you. But it's your country, and you're the one that's going to experience the repercussions of your choices directly. So measure twice, people, and cut once. Otherwise, if you don't measure at all, if you don't put any forethought and planning, it's your decision. You might just measure once and spend the rest of your life cutting over and over and over and over and paying for your mistake. And it will be the biggest mistake you ever made.